nothing left for the settlements that would guarantee a generation of peace for your children. Yeah, but it won't. So let's be real. That's just, that theoretical is not even theoretical. It's been, it's been proven to us uh, over and over again. That giving up our land. Your, your theoretical has been proven in theories or, or in scientific, there's a scientific method. You, you proffer a th theory and you test it. It's been tested over and over again. The land giveaway equals more terms. So why would we give up our ancestral homeland and the highland of the country in terms of security to give it to the, what, Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, who, who, was, who has just recently made an epic anti-Semitic speech at the UN, who funds terrorism, who, to give it to the Hamas, who should we give it to, ISIS, who, <laughs> Muslim Brotherhood. It's, it's just an absurd, the, the concept has been, the government has been, the government has been, no, the, government. My, my, my government my government does not have a charter to destroy the Palestinians. It really doesn't matter. No, no, but now that's Netanyahu's so-called arrangement, as some have called it, with Hamas, containing them, tolerating them. Bad policy. In some, in some would say collaborating with them in order to keep them there, mm. to undermine the Palestinian Authority, in order, not, and, and in order effectively to kill the two-state solution. Mm. That's a lot of uh, that's that's a lot of conjecture there, but uh, I would basically say that I am against either the PA or Hamas. I am against them. To me, they're the same. They're the same. They're just different. One wears this kind of suit. One wears fatigues. But they have the same goal, and they have a stated goal to destroy Israel. So personally, me, I'm a, I, I would I would dismantle the PA as as they're fighting Hamas as well. I would get rid, I would fight jihadism. It's really pretty simple. As the, the Supreme Court once said in America about a different topic, they said, you know it when you see it. But she had as a minister. Can I go back to the Palestinians who are seeing their livestock stolen, the cars burned, etc., etc.? I mean, I mean, that's a, that's a, that, that I, 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 I can't answer that question because I, 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 I disagree with that characterization. It's just a characterization that's a framed, you know, anti-Israel. You, don't, you don't believe that it's happening. I, 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 there are Arab villages all around here. I can drive you through them right now. They are huge and they are fine. So to characterize, are fine. So, to characterize that the Palestinians time. are all under attack, the way you framed it as one of framing, I, I will not agree with. I did That's, not say all of It sounded that way to me and I will not agree to that. And I can't answer the question if you frame it that I way. Did not if you want to reframe it to make it clear, I can answer I said some Palestinians, some Palestinians, how's that, have been under attack. They've had their homes broken into, they've had tear gas sprayed at their children, yep. they've been beaten, we've seen it with our own eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay? I don't know. We're at a war, right? So do you feel for those Palestinians? I'm at a war. What do you mean feel? What does that mean? <laughs> every, every human being, there's there's different sides of our personality. The human side, of course, feels for I just all interviewed peoples. a soldier. You, you asked me a question. Soldier. You asked me a question. Ahead, Would you like yeah. an answer? So the human side, of course, feels for all peoples that are that are being uh, uh, affected civilians that are being affected negatively but that's what war is there's a societal conflict it's a societal war and yes there's going to be arabs palestinians that are going to be affected that may be innocent or they may not be innocent maybe they are supporters it's hard for me to know it's, a, it's you know it's case by case but that's what what happens in war there's a conflict between societies a lot of people get hurt now, our civilians are targeted now, our civilians are rocketed at uh, our, our, our people were, were mutilated and, and murdered and, and held hostage. So that we therefore initiated a conflict back. That's what this is. It's a war. And, and, and people are going to get hurt. Spokesman for the Jewish community of Hebron, which is down the road about 25 minutes. And I'm a resident of this beautiful town of Ephrat. And you said earlier, one of the settlements comes into the... Yeah, well, you know, for the, the international, some parts yeah. of the international community that chafe at this concept of settlements. Uh, for us, we're really living in an, our ancestral land, rebuilding our ancestral communities, and so we feel super organic where we are. We don't think of it as of a settlement at all. We think of it as a, a home in the heartland of the Holy Land. Yet, this is land the international community says is not yours. Parts. Parts too. Okay. You could disagree with them. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to elaborate on that? Uh, you know, those people who doubt our historical connection to this land and our rights, uh, they don't know why we have rights to this land. We have purchased rights, we've purchased much of this land. We have uh, one land in defense of wars. Uh, uh, international agreements 
1917, 1920, 1922 recognized this as Jewish land. And we also have divine rights, if you want to believe that. Uh, this is our ancestral land, we know it. And so people who are less informed and are ignorant, or our enemies, uh, claim otherwise. But that's, that's their problem. Who are the enemies? Enemies are people, uh, jihadists, first thing, are enemies, and their allies. Uh, people who want to uh, see us uh, off of our land. Uh, and basically folks that want to erase Israel or shrink Israel. And is your goal to drive the Palestinians on what you call your land out? Only jihadis. I got a problem with jihadis. I have no problem with the Arabs or Palestinians. I have no problem with them. people who respect my law. This is a tribal region. And uh, this is our tribe's land. It's a small piece of land within the Arab world. Uh, Arabs that want to live within our tribal lands just have to respect our laws. That's the way of the Middle East. We have no problem with Arabs. We have problem with jihadis. People who hate Israel, people who want to uh, see us dead, people who in their charters write that they want to destroy Israel. So that's the kind of folks that we have a, a war with, but not with the average person who wants to lead, lead a decent life and a law respecting me. You are against the two-state solution. Absolutely. Always happy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we believe that it's a bad idea to cut up our land, a tiny land, and give it to the jihad, as was done uh, in Gaza. Uh, that was a big mistake. We fought against it. Uh, Israel gave part of that land to the PA. It was soon taken over by Hamas. Uh, and now we've had endless wars with that, with that uh, entity. Uh, so we are against a two-state solution. Uh, if you look at the map of the Middle East, it's like a joke. Uh, Israel is a tiny country of, of 7 million Jews. And we're in an area of 400 million. It's just that simple. This is our land. So I'm against a two-state solution because it's unjust, and historically inaccurate, and will not lead to peace. To the families of the victims of the October 7th attacks who believed in a two-state solution and who still believe today in a two-state solution, what do you say to them? Uh, nothing's changed, and uh, it's the same thing to us. This latest attack is just yet another in many proofs uh, that giving away our land to the enemy is a bad idea. It's just dumb. It's just dumb to allow the jihad to, uh, to grow and to surrender land to them. And so those victims are victims of the two-state way of thinking. And we've always said that. Nothing's changed. Uh, I've met your children. I'm curious and I'm going to ask you a personal question. Sure. What do you teach them about Palestinians? Just what I told you. There are some elements that are jihadis, and that's very sad. And that's a bad ideology that's repressive, regressive uh, for them. But then they also meet many Palestinians that are decent, good folks that want to lead a decent life. Um, uh, but we have a war right now. We have a conflict with, with jihadism, with Iran, with Hezbollah, with Hamas, but with there ISIS. Some, there are some among the settlers who are extremists as well. And it, that may be true in every society. Well, it's not maybe It is true. And they were condemned by the U.S. president this week for adding fuel to the fire. So, what's your, what's your question? My question is, the attacks perpetrated against the Palestinians in the West Bank. And care to comment on that? We have a, we, we, we try to respect the law. We believe that we have a law that, 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 that tries to keep the peace between people as in any a decent society. On the other hand, it's the Middle East. It's a, it's a conflict zone. And when, when 1,500 people, over 1,400 people are, are mauled, murdered, mutilated, uh, and there's con continuous tensions, then there's going to be a pushback as well. I'm not cond condoning that. I'm just saying that it's understandable that in a rough neighborhood, where people are being pushed around, you can't expect the Jewish people uh, to be totally passive. There's going to be uh, some element that's going to be, you know, uh, freaked out by what has happened. I'm not, condem I'm not con condoning that. I'm just saying that that's, that's where it's coming from. This is a very tense place. You are in a position of authority. I'm curious to know what are you doing to prevent these shootings, these beatings, theft of livestock, theft of property, burnt cars, burnt homes? Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing is our police and our army is taking care of the lawlessness. They're accused of turning a blind eye. By by some, and other, we make a counterclaim. No uh, one has ever been charged. They, it's being described. You mean nobody's ever been charged? I know of, people have been charged. Climate of impunity is how it's been described. Uh, by those who follow this, those who go on fact-finding missions. Look, we're at war, uh, and there's a tension here. And uh, that war is not just a war. Our, our society is being attacked. Our civilians are being targeted, and so and so there's there's a tension that the civilian population feels, and so therefore 
um, it's understandable that there's going to be pushback as well. This is not just, this is a tribal conflict. Not just an army versus army conflict. It's not Hamas versus the idea. There's a society uh, that's fighting against us, and there's a society on our side that's going to push back on it. All right. Listen, thank you for your time. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you.